I am going to be reading the poem Banneker by Rita Dove. It is a powerful one to me because it speaks about Benjamin Banneker and how in many ways he represents my work and my life. So Benjamin Banneker is today known to be an iconic scientist who was able to lay down a survey for Washington DC. He was an astronomer. He did all this amazing work. However, he's a person who did not have a really great formal education. Um, he was not seen as being an intellectual. He was made fun of and seen as an outsider. But despite all these things, he brought all those things together to become this iconic scientist and use his science skills to make sense of the world. So here is Danneker by Rita Dove. What did he do except lie under a pear tree wrapped in a great cloak and meditate on the heavenly bodies? Venerable. The good people of Baltimore whispered, shocked, and more than a little afraid. After all, it was said, he took the strong drink. Why else would he stay out under the stars all night? And why hadn't he married? But who would want him? Neither Ethiopian nor English, neither lucky nor crazy. A capacious bird humming as he penned in his mind another inflamed letter to President Jefferson. He imagined the reply, polite and rhetorical. Those who had been to Philadelphia reported the statue of Benjamin Franklin before the library. His very size and likeness, a wife, no thank you. At dawn, he milked the cows and went inside and put on a pot to stew while he slept. The clock he whittled as a boy still ran. Neighbors woke him up with warm bread and quilts. At nightfall, he took out his rifle, a white main figure stalking in the darkened breast of the Union and shot at the stars. And by chance, one went out. Had he killed? I assure thee, my dear sir, luring his eyes to fields, sweet with the rot of spring. He could see a government's doomed city rising from the morass and spreading in a spiral of lights.